guys, welcome back. This is Zishan and we are going to talk about barcode technology today. First of all, let me just tell you, please subscribe to our channel which is ZTech Media. We need more subscribers, more likes and more comments if you like the video or if you don't like it. Still, we need you guys to comment. So today we are going to talk about barcode, everything about barcode. The sound which you hear every time you go to a Walmart, Costco, or any departmental store or a shopping mall blip blip and blip so we are going to talk how barcode works we are going to talk different types of barcodes and we are going to talk everything about it so let's not waste our time and quickly get it going. wherever we go whatever we buy and whenever we buy we hear the sound blip from a scanner or a machine this is nothing but from a scanner which is translating the barcode to a computer which has the database. Grocery or going to a mall and doing some transactions there has never been so much easier and quicker. All thanks to this technology known as barcoding technology. Today we are going to talk a lot about this. Let's keep it rolling. So whether we buy a camera or a laptop or onions or tomatoes from a grocery store there are black and white stripes on every product we buy there are certain products which has sticker on it and certain products which have which has a printed wrapping and at the end of wrapping there are these black and white stripes so have you ever thought to stop for a minute and think about what is this if not today's the time so barcode is an automatic identification technology which uses spaces black stripes and white lines just to produce a unique identification number which then describes us about the product how much it weighs what is the price when it is expiring which is useful or used or beneficial for the purchaser and then there is certain information which is beneficial for the retailer or manufacturer just to look up the stock, how much did they sell and how many number of products did they sell and if there is something missing in the inventory, what happened to it? Because if they haven't sold that, then either it has to be shoplifted or stolen. So barcode has revolutionized the way we shop. It has literally transformed starting from purchasing to retailing to manufacture. Now barcode has as we discussed black lines and white lines and spaces. So the first five digits of the barcode represents the manufacturer ID. And the last five digits or the next five digits represent the product identification. And then there's a last one digit which is a check ID. We'll talk more about this. And then the scanner has a chip which converts that particular data to a computer in zeros and ones spaces is equal to zero dark lines is equal to one so now let's say if you run a very busy store wherein you sell hundreds and thousands of product each day and it's not easy for you to walk around the shelves let's say you have like 10 aisles or maybe more than 10 or let's say you have 100 aisles and it's not easy for you to walk to all the aisles and shelves and keep a track of all the products which you sold and which you did not and update that in a paper or pen or a register or in a computer manually because if your store is something like a Walmart or Costco like giant grocery stores what barcode does is barcode will let you know if there is something which you did not sell then it means it might have been stolen or shoplifted and that way you can decide how many more you need in the shelf or the aisle next day and also it gives you a clarity like which are the products which you're selling more and which are the products which you're selling less and this has made the work of retailers and manufacturers very easy now there is one more advantage of using barcodes as a retailer or somebody who has a store whether it might be a clothing store or something like that why because with the barcode, you can always update the prices real time. You can keep fluctuating your prices and also track the items 
which you sell the most. For example, I happened to go to Express to buy a suit last week. And then I found a suit of my size, but there was no pant with that suit. So I asked a lady who was working there that, do you guys have a 32 in this particular suit? Then she just pulled the device and scanned the barcode of the suit which I was wearing. And then she told me they don't have it in the stock. So this has made her job and my job easier. She don't have to go all the way to the inventory to search for the size of pant I'm looking because there are so many products in the inventory. And at my end, it has saved a lot of time and it made my decision easier whether to buy the suit or not. How the barcode technology works. So first of all, you have a sticker with all the barcodes and some numbers written on it. And then the next thing is you need a scanner. And then you need a PC which has a database. So what happens is, let's say this is your product. With the help of the scanner, you scan the barcode. And then the moment the barcode is scanned, there is a chip in the scanner which sends that information to the PC on a network which has a database and which will give a lot of information about selling and selling more for, to the retailer or manufacturer. So this is how the barcode technology works. So how so this scanning the product from the scanner to the computer works. So let me just explain you. Let's consider this is the scanner. So this is nothing but the scanning LED light and this is your circuit or you can also call this you can also call this as auto electric cell and this is your reader now what happens is let's say this is your barcode This is your barcode and this is your computer. So as soon as you scan this product, what the scanner does is scan and throws the LED light to the barcode and then what it is doing with the help of light, it is trying to calculate the number of black lines and white lines. So this information is just in the form of spaces, black lines and white lines. However, for the scanner, the scanner is trying to calculate black lines as some number and white lines as another number. So it just throws the light and then the LED scanner scans all these colors, black and white, and then it goes to the reader. Now what the reader does is with the help of this photoelectric circuit, there's a circuit here, photoelectric circuit, it calculates what kind of barcode it is. As I said, the first five digits are manufacturer ID and the next five digits are the product ID. And then there's one number at the last here. This is also called as verification number or check ID. So what happens is it sends this information to the circuit board and circuit board understand what kind of product is this, everything about the product. But then the computer doesn't understand because this is in the decimal. Now this is in a black and white format. The moment it goes from here to here, it is in a decimal format. But computer doesn't understand decimal. So what the circuit board does is it converts this particular number, which it calculated from this barcode, into zeros and ones. And wherever there is black, it counts as one. And wherever there is white, it counts as zero. So the computer will send this number to the computer's database so that the computer can understand what kind of product we are selling. 
on what kind of product we need more for selling it in the future and also which are the products we sold and which are the products which are missing so everything we know from this process so there is a barcode sticker the scanner throws a light or a laser light or LED light and then the reader reads it, send it to the circuit board, circuit board understand what kind of product it is and then what circuit board does is it converts that particular number in a computer understandable language which is zeros and ones. As we all know the computer understands only two digits, zeros and ones. In simple words, this is barcode. There are different kinds of barcodes as you can see on the screen. This one is a UPC code which is widely used at POS for consumer goods sales. In UPC, there are two types, UPC A and E. Up next, we have the EAN codes. So these barcodes are also used to label consumer goods worldwide at POS. But this is primarily used in Europe. So that's it from me today guys and if you like the video please subscribe to our channel share the video as much as you can like the content and comment we need this and then we talk as much as possible in short to you guys about barcode there is another type of barcode which has recently developed and has taken a very big place in the market it is known as qr code so there will be a short video on QR code in the future. But for now, if you have any doubts, please leave me comments. If you did not understand anything, just leave me comments. And then I'll see you next time. Until then, have a nice day.